Why do you think that Western governments have gone as far to ban certain items of religious value, such as the burkini, the burkini or even the niqab, for example? Okay, I suppose when you look at the niqab, um, it could come from the perspective of that they can't um, identify a person who's wearing niqab. Mm -hmm. So for national security reasons, um, they can, I suppose they can use that excuse to ban it. Yeah. But um, I don't see what stops a woman from identifying another woman who's in niqab. Yeah. So yeah. why do you need to ban it? If a, if a woman decides this is what she wants to wear, mm and you need to check out she is who she says she is, then ask a woman to look at, a, a, you know, a woman security guard to look uh -huh, at her. Uh -huh. So you don't think that wearing the niqab is a threat to national security then? I don't see how, because if it's a matter of identification, then, you know, a, a woman with niqab would have no problem taking off her niqab, niqab in front of another woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and there are women security guards, so yeah. I, I, I don't see the problem. When you're talking about the burkini, I don't understand why there is a reason to ban that because you're not affecting anyone else. If you choose to fully clothe yourself when you're swimming, that is your choice. Um, you're not affecting anyone else. You're not causing a problem to anyone else. So again, I see no reason to ban it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of a lot of people talk about. Uh, um, I suppose they come from the perspective of that they see it as oppression yes. and so they want to free us but they're using the term oppression and saying they want to free me whereas they're truly oppressing me because they're yeah. not allowing me to dress the way I want to dress and that is oppression yeah so in the name of oppression they're actually oppressing me if yes. that makes sense and yeah. then they come from the perspective of um, you know, we don't want to be a religious government, we want to be a secular and, and you know, and, and religion and secularism should be um, different. You know, you can't bring in religion into the secular world, mm -hmm. um, into education and things like that. But again, if you think about it from the perspective of I as a Muslim, Islam is my life. I, it's not just a religion that I follow. It's a lifestyle. Exactly. Yes. Um, so by making, telling me I can't go into an education system with my hijab you're actually stopping me from being educated because I will not remove my hijab yeah. and therefore I will not get educated yeah so you're actually making it worse for me